Okay, so I write a newsletter for 100,000 readers and host a podcast where I interview top product leaders, founders, and creators. And today, I want to show you five AI prompts that I use for my personal prompt library to create compelling content in less time. So let's get started. Okay, so this is my uh, personal AI prompt library. It includes all my favorite prompts that I use to create content. And why don't we start with this AI research use case? So one way that I like to research guests for my podcast is to look up what they shared in previous podcasts. But I simply don't have time to watch hours of podcast videos every single day. So instead, I use this AI research prompt to extract the key takeaways and quotes in minutes. And it works great because I've included examples from my best manual research. So here's how I use it. First, copy this prompt and paste it into my favorite AI tool, which is Claude but you can use ChatGPT or any other AI tool. And then what I do is I go look up a YouTube video of a podcast guest, for example, Perplexity CEO, Lex Freeman. And uh, you know this is like a three hour video. So instead of watching this, what I do is I go to show transcript and I basically copy and paste the entire transcript back into AI. So what this prompt is gonna do now is it's gonna take this raw transcript and it's going to output a format where it summarizes the key takeaways by section. And then it also includes some really notable quotes from the guest. And of course, if I want to dig deeper into a particular topic, like the future of search and AI, I can always ask AI for follow-up questions or for more quotes. So as you can see, this is a massive timer saver for me. And you can use the same prompt to get the takeaways from any long YouTube video. It doesn't have to be a podcast. It can be some sort of explainer or anything that you want to learn. So you can essentially learn the topic in a few minutes by reading it, as opposed to having to watch it for over an hour. All right, now let's talk about the next prompt. So let's talk about this AI transcript prompt. I like to publish my podcast episodes in a written interview, but again, it's a pain to manually edit a raw transcript like this into a concise written interview that people can read. So instead, what I do is I copy and paste this AI transcript prompt. Let me make a new cloud conversation. Okay, so I copy it here. And then once again, you know, this prompt works really well because I've included manual examples where I manually clean up raw transcripts into the format that I want as examples in this prompt. So now let's uh, go ahead and copy and paste a passage from the raw transcript. And typically what I like to do is like to copy and paste maybe 10 or 15 minutes at a time to make sure that it doesn't start cutting out words or entire questions and answers. So I'll go ahead and copy and paste the same. All right, as you can see, uh, it's starting to edit my raw transcript. It removed all the timestamps. It removed uh, redundant words, ums and ahs. And it basically made things into something that is pretty clear and concise and that anyone will enjoy reading. Now, of course, I still do a manual pass on this to make sure that nothing is missing and to make sure that what it did makes sense. And, you know, to be honest with you, it took me a long time to get this prompt right to make sure it doesn't start cutting out content. But you can use this prompt to turn any audio or video interview into a really great, concise, written interview. All right, so now let's keep going. Let's look at the AI YouTube thumbnail prompt. So anyone who makes YouTube videos will tell you that coming up with the right thumbnail and title copy takes a very long time. So instead, I use this AI thumbnail prompt to brainstorm up to 10 title and copy variations for my thumbnails. And it works well because again, I've included examples from the best thumbnail and title copy combinations from my channel and also from other similar channels in the prompt. All right, so let's put this into action. So again, paste the prompt into AI. All right, and then let's go ahead and copy this entire interview into AI, the raw transcript, or you can copy the edited transcript and see what kind of thumbnail and title combinations it comes up with. So you can see here that it created these 10 variations to try to pull a attention grabbing thumbnail copy for the thumbnail itself and also for the corresponding YouTube title. And again, it used my examples that I gave it to come up with provocative quotes, come up with metrics, highlight insider knowledge. So again, that, that saves me a, a ton of time. All right. So now I also promote my podcast on social media, on, on Twitter and on LinkedIn. And of course, I have a prompt for doing that too. Okay, so what this does, it, it creates social posts based on a 
podcast transcript for X and for LinkedIn. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and make a, another new chat. Paste the name. And uh, let's go ahead and copy this whole transcript in again and see what kind of social posts it comes up with. Okay, it, it needs to think through the examples first, so sometimes it takes a while. But anyway, go ahead and paste this in. All right, you can see here that uh, we're using chain of thought a little bit. It's thinking through the transcript, and then it came up with uh, the title and post variations. So for example, uh, when I promote the podcast through a social post, I like to begin with an attention grabbing quote and then talk about who the, uh, who the guest was, talk about the topics of the conversation, and also pull a few more quotes from the guest and ultimately link to the YouTube. Now, this video link is wrong, so I'll replace this with the actual video. But you can see here that it drafted a very good post for me that I can modify. And again, this all saves me a lot of time to create the content around this podcast interview. All right. Now, I've saved the best for last, which is my AI newsletter prompt. You know, AI performs best when you give it a lot of context. And the best way to give a lot of context in a short period of time is to use your voice. So sometimes this is how I do the first draft of my newsletter that I use to send to 100,000 readers. So I use an app that's free. It's called superwhisper.com. And, you know, install this app on iPhone. And what it does is it basically transcribes your voice. So I basically speak into the phone directly. And I just ramble about whatever topic I want to write about. And the output of all that rambling is of this wall of text right here. Now, this is not going to pass for a blog post, but let's use the prompt to go ahead and clean this up. So let's make a new chat. Let's paste the prompt link first. And you know, how does this prompt work? Well, this prompt works in that I've included a few examples of my best performing newsletter posts, posts that people really loved. And it kind of like analyzes those examples and highlights my writing style and so on and so forth. All right, so now what we're going to do is paste this whole wall text from my uh, voice note into AI. Awesome. So now, as you can see, it modified my wall text. Uh, it added formatting to different title text sections. It uh, uses like short paragraphs and bullets to make it easy to read. And it just created like a really awesome first draft from the 10 minutes or 15 minutes that I spent rambling into my phone. And of course, I can edit this myself to make it even better. But this, again, saves so much more time than starting from a blank page or trying to um, uh, edit the voice note yourself. Okay, so I just walked through five out of the nine prompts that I use every week to create content for 100,000 newsletter subscribers and 200,000 followers on social media. The key point here that I want to make is that the best AI prompts include your best examples of what good output is. You know, anyone can write a prompt to make a great viral social post or edit a newsletter. But the magic happens when you show AI exactly what viral and good actually means. Now, you can use these principles to create AI prompts yourself, or you can get my personal AI prompt library via the link in the video description. And if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe, and I will make more content like this. Thanks, and good luck prompting with AI.